assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to nips home school how are you i hope you all are fine with your family this is kamrun nahar assistant teacher of national ideal english version school deshi today i'm going to take your computer class and our today's topic is chapter 4 and the name of this chapter is the mouse in our previous class we have discussed about uh, the keyboard and today we will know about the mouse and mouse is one of the parts of the computer okay let's start and what will you find in a mouse a mouse has two or three buttons three small buttons now look at this mouse this is the picture of a mouse and we generally placed a mouse on a mouse pad and you can also find a small wheel in the center of the mouse which is called a scroll wheel and if you move the mouse on the monitor i mean on the mouse pad you will find that an arrow is moving on the monitor screen and this arrow is called mouse pointer and some mice are connected to the computer by wires and some mice are not connected to the computer with i mean by wires and uh when a mouse is connected to the computer by wires it, it has a tail now look it it looks like a tail of a mouse so a mouse has two or three small buttons and we can also we mean find a small wheel called a scroll wheel and mouse is placed on a mouse pad and when we move the mouse on the mouse pad the pointer moves on the monitor screen and the pointer looks like an arrow now we will know how to hold a mouse that means holding the mouse we can hold the mouse with our right or left hand but before that we need to know about the name of the three fingers now look thumb this finger is called thumb and this is index finger and this is middle finger so that means we will hold the mouse with our three fingers if we are right handed we will hold the mouse with thumb index finger and middle finger and if we are left handed we will use this hand I mean we will use thumb uh, index finger and middle finger now look if you are right handed just hold the mouse as shown in the picture at first we will i mean you will place your palm of your right hand on the mouse the second process you will place your thumb on the left side of the mouse and next step you will place your index finger on the left mouse button and then you will place your middle finger on the right mouse button so what is the process at first you will place your palm of your right hand on the mouse then you will place your thumb on the left side of the mouse and then you will place your index finger on the left mouse button and the last step you will place your middle finger on the right mouse button and if you are left handed you will just follow this way which is shown in the picture that means the opposite of the right hand you will place your palm of your right hand on the mouse and next step you will place your thumb on the right side of the mouse this time you will place your thumb on the right side and next step place your index finger on the right mouse button and the last step you will place your middle finger on the left mouse button so now we have learned how to hold a mouse if you are right hand you will follow this step and if you are left hand then you will follow this step now we will know how to work with the mouse that means working with the mouse but if you want to work with the mouse you need to sit in front of a computer 
when you start uh, the i mean uh, when you press the start button the computer will open and you will find that there is an arrow on the monitor screen and when the mouse is moved the pointer moves from the monitor screen that means the arrow or the mouse pointer moves on the monitor screen and the mouse pointer is used to point at items on the monitor screen so this is the work of the mouse pointer that means we use this mouse pointer to select an items on the monitor screen and when you move the when you move the mouse pointer uh, right i mean a uh, mouse pointer right side you will go to the right and when you move the i mean a mouse to left you will uh, the mouse pointer will go to the left side and when you move the mouse up the pointer goes up and when you move the mouse down the pointer will go, uh, i mean a go down so if you want to select an item what will you do we will just take the mouse pointer we just take this mouse pointer on the item and we will just gently press the selected i mean uh, item and then we will leave it and on that moment you will hear a sound called click and this action is called clicking okay this action is called clicking so what is called clicking the action of pressing and leaving the mouse button is called clicking that means at first you will press the mouse button and then you will leave it and this action is called clicking and with a mouse click we can select an item on the monitor screen so it's very easy if you want to select an item you will just take the mouse pointer on that item and then you will press the left mouse button and leave it that and you can select an item you will find a rectangle uh sir okay i mean rectangular shape on the selected item so in this chapter we have learned about the mouse and we have learned also i mean how to hold the mouse and how to work with the mouse and there is a homework this is homework number 2 short question answer question number 1 what is clicking and the answer is the action of pressing and leaving the mouse button is called clicking i repeat what is clicking answer the action of pressing and leaving the mouse button is called clicking number 2 how can you select an item answer we can select an item on the monitor screen with a mouse click i repeat again i repeat this question number 2 how can you select an item answer we can select an item on the monitor screen with a mouse click so and dear students you will do your assigned homework in your homework copies and you will submit all your homework copies on every sunday uh within 8 am to 4 pm in the school library your guardians or anyone else can come to submit or collect those copies your city marks and sbi marks will be given on the basis of submitting those homework copies so do your homework regularly and submit those copies on every sunday so that's all for today if you have any problem uh, in this uh, in this topic or if you have any inquiries regarding this topic you can contact me over phone and my phone number is 0167192409 i repeat 0167192409 so keep practicing at home study regularly and obey your parents see you again alhamdulillah